you know, just looking back on uh, the App State game, uh, I, again, I think our kids, they fight, you know, there's no quit in them, and, you know, they, they play with great effort. Um, you know, we're getting better each week as a team, as a program. You know, you look at the quality of opponents that we play with App State, you guys understand, you guys know how good of a team they are and how talented of a team they are. And, and to be sitting there 14-13 in the third quarter, um, you know, I was proud of where the kids got to that point. But, you know, we couldn't we couldn't hold up. We couldn't stop the momentum swings. You know, we threw the interception in the third quarter. Defense elevated their play, got it to a third and 18, end up having a – a, uh, a legal hands to the face, which kind of hurt our momentum there, and they scored. And then from there, it's just kind of we didn't play complimentary football. We punted, and then they scored. We punted again, they scored. And then you're down 21 points against a very solid team. Um, but, you know, I, we have too many negative plays, too many penalties. You know, we we just got to work on finishing games, and, and uh, we need to learn how to put that complete game together. Um, but, you know, I love how these kids fight. I, I love where they're at in terms of, the passion that they play with, we just got to keep putting it better. You know, there's a lot of heart that this team has. We just need to put our head with it. And um, but now we're going into our last game of the season versus Coastal Carolina. Uh, love to end the season on a high note. It's a, a solid team that we're playing. They're a scrappy team. They've gone through a lot of injuries, and, and uh, it's going to be a very tough challenge for us. So uh, I think our kids um, are excited to have a, a, good, a good Thanksgiving break, you know, a good Thanksgiving uh, practices here and, and get to Myrtle and uh, – Go try to end our season on a high note. So questions, please. Yeah, thank you, Coach. Our first questions come from Whitney Hayworth. Whitney, please go ahead. Coach, as you mentioned, obviously, you know, you guys are continuing to get better week in and week out. So when you look at this game yeah. and you look at it as last one, best one, what do you tell what do you tell the team knowing that this is the last game of the season for you guys? Or do you have to even yeah. tell them? Yeah, no, there's a little bit of both. You know, they they know that this is uh the last opportunity for 22 seniors and, and uh, it's more about let's, let's put a complete game together. We have not put a complete game together really. Um, you know, South Alabama was one where we put one together, but you know, it's, we haven't consistently done it. We get out there and we fight. If you look at really all of our games where we're in it in the first half, you know, it's just when we get out of the second half, we got to understand momentum swings and learn how to finish games. So I don't think there's much motivation this week, to, except, you know, these um, these kids understand that it's their last ride together as a team and we want to end it on a high note. And, uh, you know, we're going to be underdogs again like we are almost every week. And, you know, and I, I think these kids just want to prove everybody that we can compete versus teams in this league and, and uh, you know, end this on a high note and have some momentum going into the offseason for us. What have you seen from Coastal Carolina, a team that's had its own ups and downs all season long? I, I think that they are coached really well in terms of the circumstances that have came to them. You know, you see where they're a scrappy team and they beat Kansas and they're in 11 personnel and empty sets and, and then all of a sudden injuries occur and you see how they transition to right now they're playing in 22 personnel and doing triple option. And uh, I think what they do, like even on special teams, is that they put their best players in, in key positions and, and they try to hide the others based off of injuries. And uh, – they just put their kids in good position. So they, they're they coached well. We're going to expect their best. Uh, you know, I think it's going to be a ball control type of game, and we got to take advantage of our opportunities just based off of how, like, versus Arkansas State, they held the ball for almost 42 minutes. And, you know, we got to be able to manifest some points and make sure that we get off the field defensively because um, I think this is going to be one of those great games. I think they've had six games that – have all came down to one one score. So I, I'm expecting a close one, and I think it's going to be a fun game. And for you, obviously, I know you'll reflect more after Saturday's game. Um, but, you know, just knowing for you as a head coach, this is the last game of the season, and you're almost done with your first, you know, full football season at Texas State. I mean, what, what has this season meant to you, and, and what's been, you know, maybe one of your favorite things and or biggest things maybe that you've learned as a head coach? Yeah, I, I think you learn every single day as a head coach, um, you know, about culture and the community and and how you uh, get them get the alignment right. And I think just every day that we came in here, we've got a better feel for how our university works, how our players are, how the conference is. Um, so it, I, I'm going to feel so much more comfortable going into next year because you know the style of plays, you know what the league's about, you know how you travel, you know how – you you've kind of knocked out all those little things that you just were curious about how they're going to work before the season. So it should just year two should always 
you know, move so much more efficiently and smoother. And uh, um, I think there's always things that you can improve on. And, and uh, the thing that I appreciate about our kids and, and our staff is that we, we come in every day and, and we try to make it better. And I, I think that there's a lot of good buzz around here still on just the direction that we're going, the fight that we have with our kids. And, and uh, I think there's a lot of optimism and we just got to keep building off of it.